Look at all the people walking down the street and everybody's looking around with the same face. They don't have much to say, they're gonna be there anyway. It's my la 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 all day long. Shining lights on the malls, graffiti on the walls. My soul won't straight through my shoelace. I have very little cause and I very rarely pause. I got everything but I sing a sad song. I got every little thing. Hey, Jennifer. You and Quinn planning a trip to Europe? Nah. My sister and her husband, second honeymoon. And actually, a first. They couldn't afford one. When they first got married, they've been saving it for it, like, forever. <laughs> Listen, I, uh, got a call from Mac Hyler today. Ah, uh -uh. do you like the design? I like it. He absolutely loved it. He said it was the best thing he'd seen in his 30-year career. He's giving us all his design business and the subsidiaries. Charlie, that's awesome. Congrats. <laughs> was your design, Jennifer. Oh, uh, no. We all worked on it. Uh, and the Metzger rollout in Hawthorne Mall. Have you thought about my offer? A little. Because there, there is self-interest here, no doubt about that. I mean, I spent my whole life building this business. And I want to pass the torch on to somebody who can really grow it. And I'm looking out for you, too. My sister's taking off for Europe tomorrow, and I've got to get these books to her. Well, just think about what I'm saying. I will. I promise. Sean. Oh, boy. Wow, cool bike. Miles, go finish your homework. Does he go to your school? School wasn't his thing. He works in his uncle's garage. I, I don't want you dating a dropout. We're not dating. He gave me a ride home. And I don't want you riding on motorcycles. Aunt Jenny rides a motorcycle. It's a scooter, and Aunt Jenny is a grown-up. Really? Since when? Because you and Dad are always saying that... Aunt Jenny will never grow up. Sorry. No, uh, nope, they're absolutely right. He wants to grow up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Are you two arguing about the guy on the motorcycle that I just passed? It's crazy hot. Oh, yeah. Okay, that is why you cannot date him. Nope, you can only date dorks. Guys, we're not even dating. I am packing. Come help. Oh. It never ends. You shouldn't encourage her. I'm crushing on a guy? Come on, Mandy. She's 15. He's part of the job description. He's older than she is. Isn't Brian older than you? That is different. You didn't think so when you were 15. How would you know? You were, like, three. I got you guidebooks for your trip. Oh, I think we're covered. Yeah, I know. Museums, churches, cemeteries. You need to know where the romance and candlelight are. Hmm. I can get romance and candlelight in St. Louis. Like you ever do. I can only get the Notre Dame in Paris. Oh, no. Do not tell me. You intend to wear these? Oh, 
I can be sexy when I want to. This is why I'll never grow up. And this is why I brought you shoes. No fit. Mom, I got to play. Hello? Mom, they let me play. What? That's fantastic, sweetheart. Oh. Almost three minutes. Oh, yeah, she was a monster on that field. Oh. Yo, Flo. And Jenny, we're having pizza. Oh, of course you are. After soccer, it's an ASO regulation. Uh, there's uh, plenty if you'd like to join us. Oh, I can't. Going out. In fact, I got a buzz. When are Mom and Dad coming in tomorrow? Noon. And you leave at 1. Yep. I'll come by. Wish you bon voyage. Are you shooting me, girl? Say cheese. Mm, I've got a better idea. Race to the curb. <laughs> oh. Hey. <laughs> hey, Will. Hey. Uh, Will, this is my sister Jennifer. Jennifer, this is Will. Will is John and Bunny's nephew. They are retiring to Santa Fe, and he's buying their house. Uh, they're not going anywhere until we clear the house out. It's a major liquidation. Uh, they're pack rats. <laughs> yes, we're, we're very familiar. <laughs> Which is great. I mean, if you want to get your hands on a copy of, say, Red Book from 1972, but... Not a good year. Mm. Um, listen, there's going to be a big dumpster on the street starting tomorrow, so I'm just telling all the neighbors. I've got to go. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Um, my number, oh. if you guys need anything, and um, have a great trip. Thanks. <laughs> Bad news, guys. Kitchen ran out of drizzled shrimp. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah. <laughs> we had to stop by my folks. Peter got me something, and I wanted them to see it. <gasps> no! Oh, I don't believe it! I don't believe it. <gasps> oh. Is it her birthday? <laughs> they are engaged, you don't? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Congratulations, Zach. <laughs> To you guys. Yeah. <laughs> what she said. <laughs> wow. I didn't see that coming. Peter and Sarah have been exclusive for a long time. They're totally into each other. That's what couples do. It's kind of inevitable. So we've been exclusive for a long time. We're totally into each other. No, absolutely not. Don't even think about going there. But you said it's inevitable. Quinn, uh, you've got something great going. Let's not blow it, okay? <laughs> okay. Karaoke Friday, Hammers. You're on. Yes, sir. I will own you. Okay, kids, it's time to go. <laughs> See you in three weeks. Okay. <laughs> I love you. Love you, too. Mom. Um, I'm gonna really miss you, Mom. Oh, I'm gonna miss you, my little prince. You take care of Grandma and Grandpa for me, okay? I will. Okay. Send us postcards from everywhere. Oh, don't forget a person, Paris. Yeah. All right, sweetheart. I'll be back with you folks by noon, and then we are going on the honeymoon. <gasps> I don't want you to worry. He's gonna be fine. Who's gonna be fine? Your dad. He fell getting out of the shower this morning. Fell? Is he okay? Well, he bruised his right hip. Oh, no. 
We don't think it's broken, but... Oh, he's in a lot of pain. And, of course, we can't get in to see his doctor until tomorrow. I'm, I'm so sorry, honey, but we're not flying anywhere today. Oh. So, what do you want to talk to me about? I have a dilemma. Dr. Sarah is ill. My boss offered me a permanent job. Well, more than that, actually. He wants to make me equity partner. Jennifer, that's fantastic. But I don't think I should do it. Why not? I'm only 25. Equity partner? It's too much of a commitment? <laughs> yes. There's no dilemma. I know you, Jennifer. He asked, you'll say no. That's it, done. You'll quit and find a new job. You're right, it's too big a commitment. I didn't say that. And what is it with you and commitments, anyway? Commitment is destiny. What if I commit to the wrong thing? Wrong job, wrong guy? I'll be stuck forever, like Mandy. Mandy married a great guy. Yeah, right after college, and they're only getting around to a honeymoon now. And she wants to visit cemeteries. Hello? Mom? Shouldn't you be on a plane right now? Yes, yes, I, I know, but it's an emergency. I understand. Mom called. This is a disaster. I have called every babysitter I know, but no one is available on such short notice. I could stay with the kids. I'm gonna lose the deposit for the hotels. The airline is gonna dig us with a huge penalty. I'll fill in until Mom and Dad can come. Oh, and I have non-refundable theater tickets for London and opera tickets for Rome. Any luck? No. We're gonna have to reschedule the trip. Oh, you're fine. I've got you covered. Let's just call an agency. An agency? We are not letting a stranger watch our kids. Guys, listen to me. I talked to mom. I'll fill in until they can get here. Oh, Jennifer, please be serious. I am serious. You can take this amount of time off from work. Absolutely, it's just for a day or two. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, we are not leaving our children with Jennifer, Brian. Why, Why not? not? I'm not qualified? No. Oh, come on. How hard can it be? How hard can it be? They go to three different schools. They have three different lunches. There are after school activities. There's soccer games and music lessons and orthodontist appointments. Their meals, they need to be prepared. Their clothes need to be washed. They need help with their homework. They need to do their homework. Well, how are mom and dad gonna juggle all that? Well, I wrote them instructions. And I can't follow instructions? No. Uh, Look, sweetheart, sweetheart, we have been planning this trip for months. For years, actually. I have had to move mountains at work to make this happen. Yeah, listen, but... listen, if we don't go now, I don't know when we'll be able to go. Mom thinks I can do it. She suggested it. Uh, and it'll only be for a few days, just until your dad can travel, okay? It's not easy being a mom, Jennifer. In fact, it's the hardest job in the world. Which is why you deserve a three-week break. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna be fine. They better be. I'm gonna call you as soon as I get to London. Okay? Okay. And if anything comes up, you just call me. I'm gonna have my cell phone with me, like, 24-7. And all the emergency numbers are in the information book. But, you know, you can just call mom, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. We have to go. Okay. Okay. Sure, a good time, sailor. Okay. Back to her.
What on earth? Oh, gee, man. School. Appointments. Music. Sports. What is she thinking? This is out of control. Grandpa. Buckle up, I'll bring you up to speed. I gotta stop at work. Are you taking me to my lesson? I got something to do. Wait here. Jenny's staying with us. Yeah, the cute chick you saw on the best play yesterday. Yeah, she's cool. Totally cool. I'll work extra hard when I get back to catch up. Right. What? Well, ever since I made you the offer, you've been halfway out the door. Now you're all the way out. Only for a few days. I don't know what it is with your generation. Hey, I'm not my generation. I'm just me. Yep, you don't seem to want it. Want what? Responsibility. I'll be back in a few days, Charlie. for me to be alone in the car. She never leaves me alone in the car. Why didn't you tell me that? You told me to stay in the car. Look, Miles, you've been a kid for seven years. I've been a mom, well, a mom adjacent for like an hour. You gotta help me out here, okay? You got my violin, right? Right here. Not to worry, buddy, I got it wired. It's all in here. I just have to follow the breadcrumbs. Ladies and gentlemen, Grandma! I know. I'm not Grandma. I'm late. Why am I so out of the loop? This is why I need a cell phone. Hey, a Sorry, you're late. You're late, Flossie. Oh, wait. Doesn't matter if you're late. Hey, Quinn. Yeah, you heard my message right. <laughs> Crazy. It's like a reality show. Temporary mom. It'll be cool. The kids and I are tight. So, see you at happy hour? Oh. Well, part of this temporary mom thing is making dinner, so no mojitos for me. You're cooking. Yes, I'm cooking. <laughs> you want to come over? Uh, thanks, but probably see if Peter wants to hang. Ask him why in the world he's getting married. Aunt Jenny, can I have a soda? Mom says no sodas before dinner. Hey, what is for dinner? I don't know. It's past tonight. I'll have to check the book. Oh, right. Hey, you unlock it. I'm not getting along with the front door. That is the cutest dumpster I have ever seen. I know, right? Cute is not normally what I look for in a dumpster, but it was all they had.
So I found this in the garage, and it made me think of you. For me? You shouldn't have. Well, judging from the amount of dust balls in there, it had been there for a long time, so. Plastic, huh? Mm. Reminded you of me? Sure, yeah. Colorful, exotic, surprising, long-lasting. Should have stopped at exotic. I know. <laughs> you know, we got a whole lot of great stuff over there. If you need uh, empty cigar boxes or used wrapping paper, or incomplete jigsaw puzzles. No, I'm good. Mm, great. Now I'm gonna need two dumpsters just for the garage. And you can take off time from your job for this? No, I don't have a job. Uh, did your parents get in from Florida okay? Actually, they're delayed. I'm watching the kids for a few days. Lucky kids. Were you downsized? Uh, no, I just and I downsized myself. I sold my business. Why'd you sell? I just wanted to try something new. Still not really sure what that's gonna be, but... Cleaning out garages, looks like. <laughs> yeah, it could definitely turn out to be my life's work. Thanks for the flowers. Sure. Come and get it! I'm starving. What's for dinner? Better be good. All right. Bread. It's in the Bible, night one. Yeah, but where's the sauce? <gasps> sauce. I knew I forgot something. Let me zap it. Mom makes the sauce. I know, but her recipe was way complicated. Really? Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, I suck as a cook. <laughs> Seriously, <I'm> suck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Homework? Yeah. Huge test tomorrow. Ugh, I hated homework and tests. I still have nightmares about them. Yeah. <gasps> Tell me about it. I won't stay up too late. I won't. Good night. London calling. <laughs> yeah, I've always wanted to say that. How hey, hi. How are my kids? They're great. All tucked in. OK, everything go OK today? Like clockwork, violin, soccer, homework. But then it's your cooking. Oh. OK, well, remember that Flo has half practice tomorrow, because I don't want her to be late for her orthodontist appointment. A and please put the trash out tomorrow night. Um, they come first thing in the morning. Hey, how's London? I, I don't know. We just got to the hotel. Well, get out there and find out, because that's where you are, and everything here is fine. OK, well, if anything comes up, I you call me. I have my cell with me 24-7. 24-7, got it. You should get off the phone now. This is costing a fortune. Uh, OK, but if you... Goodbye, Mandy. Enjoy your stay. If there's anything we can do, just let us know. So, how is everything? Fine. Mustard, extra carrot six. Chicken 
salad. Double mayo, apple slices, skin on. Alice, come on. Shake a leg. Whoa. How late did you stay up? Pretty late. Let's hope you nail that test. Plain yogurt, five carrot sticks, apple slices, skin off. Hi, Toby. What's up? Give me your lunch, Miles. Oh, come on. Now. <laughs> hey, I have something for you. Happy early birthday. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy. It's on your neck. What? It's a bruise. I got in gym. Right, like I never made out at your age. It wasn't there last night. Yeah, it was. You just didn't see it. Alice, don't kid a kidder. Guy in the motorcycle? Yeah. Sean? Look, I have no problem with you seeing Sean. As long as you're not doing stuff that you shouldn't be no, doing. No, 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 no. We're just kissing. A lot. Sneaking out is not cool. Sorry. Gotta play by the rules. Deal? Deal. Are you gonna tell Mom and Dad? Are you nuts? Your mom would jump on the next plane home. <laughs> wow, you are good. Mom totally would have bought a bruise I got in gym. Hey, huh? I've got a crazy idea. Why don't we uh, stay in tonight? Stay in? Yeah. Order some room service, see what's on the telly, whatever. We have hmm? tickets to the National Theater. Yeah, I know, but I'm knackered. Besides, well, it's our first night here. Hmm? It's Judy Dench in The Seagull. Yes, and it would be a tragedy to miss that. Yeah. Or is The Seagull a comedy? <laughs> hmm? You should get dressed. We don't want to be late for dinner. I have a big time crisis. There's water all over the floor. Uh, it sounds like a broken pipe. The first thing you have to do is turn the water off in the house. How do I do that? I don't know, be a valve somewhere. In the basement, out front. Can you come over and help me find it? Look, babe, I can't. All right, call plumber if you need to. Intake pipe's cracked. Oh. Is that gonna be hard to fix? No, no, you just need a new piece. Standard PVC. I'll call a plumber. What, I'm paying a fortune? No, no, look, I can do it. It'll just, uh, it'll take a minute. Oh, I couldn't ask you to spend any more. Well, I'm not doing it for free. Sure. How much? Lunch. I love the smell of the air in Missouri. Have you lived here your whole life? Oh, no, I've never lived here, just visited. I'm actually from San Diego. And you're moving to St. Louis? <laughs> what exactly is wrong with St. Louis? You live here? I'm keeping my options open. Mm. Well, 
I'm ready for a change. Ray, what was your business? I owned a locavore restaurant. Locavore? Everything on the menu was raised or grown within a 50 mile radius of the restaurant. That was cool. Yeah, it was great. You know, I built a business from scratch and he said modestly, it was a rockin' success. Built a business that sounds so grown up mm. and time consuming. 24-7, 365. Mm. But I mean, if you're gonna do something, do it all the way, right? Otherwise, what's the point? What if you get stuck doing it? Well, then you get unstuck. I did. You owned a restaurant and I just made you peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> and I gotta tell you, you nailed it. Well, wish me luck. Tonight, I'm roasting a chicken for mm. the kids. Speaking of which, I gotta go pick him up from school. You know, if you're not crazy about cooking, I could make you guys dinner some night. That's nice of you, but we'll be fine. And it's only for another night or two. Hey, thank you. Again. My pleasure. Wow, cool phone. Thanks. Is that a candy girl bracelet? Yeah, my aunt's company did some work for them and she got samples. They're like impossible to get. Does she have any more? I don't know, but I'll find out. Awesome. <laughs> I still can't tell, tragedy or comedy. I don't know, but it was wonderful. Allow me, me lady. Oh. Oh. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Mm. Absolutely. It's almost dinner time in St. Louis. Let's Skype the kids. A home-cooked meal. Perhaps we'll have fried Flo tonight. <laughs> Flo, Aunt Jenny, Mom and Dad are on the computer. Hey, Mom. Hi, honey. How's Dad doing? Uh, not well, not great. No, he's not bouncing back as quickly as the doctors had hoped he would. He's still in a lot of pain. He's bedridden. But how are you doing, honey? I mean, you managing okay? Uh, sure. It's not astrophysics. No, I, I don't suppose it is. So, you think it'll be like another couple of days? Oh, I don't know, sweetie. I, I think we're just gonna have to sit and wait. And Jenny's mom and dad. Hurry up, uh, Jenny. Look, Ma, I gotta go. Uh, Mandy and Brian are skyping. Okay, we'll say hi to them for me, honey, and we'll talk soon. Looks like someone could use a refill. I hope you know what you're doing. <laughs> wow. Hey! You have a vacuum cleaner I could borrow. I managed to blow up Mandy's. You know, I actually might have one that I can give you. When I tell you my aunt and uncle kept everything, I mean everything. I, uh, I think it's back here. Who's the artist? Oh, Bunny. This is pretty good. You an artist? Yeah. I work at a graphic arts company. Ah, I was wondering what your passion was. Not a passion, it's a job. It's too bad. Yeah, just a job. Who are you trying to convince, you or me? Here we go. Uh, well, let's check this out, make sure it works. Ah, brilliant. Mm. This vacuum officially sucks in a good way fantastic listen i was wondering um 
since you're only in town for another day or two, if maybe I could get your number. You could go see a movie, grab something to eat. I have a boyfriend. You jealous type? I don't know, and I don't want to find out. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, here, I got this for you. Oh, thank you. I'll bring it back as soon as I'm done. Uh, don't you dare. Hey, what'd you get? Anything good? Oh, I, I found this great little shop. They had a crazy European sale going on. Yeah? Yeah, I, well, I hope Alice likes it. Wow. Well, who cares if Alice likes it? Well, it's for her junior prom. It was the last one, but I thought I could, I could actually tailor it for her. I think it'll look great on her. Well, I think you'd look great in it, actually. You, maybe if I were 15. No, really, I think you look great in that right now. You're right. My friend Erica invited me to hang out with her tomorrow. Can I? Of course you can. With some of her other friends and some boys, too. Boys? Hi, Quinn. Hey, babe. What's on tonight? Tonight. Karaoke. Hammers. Oh, I can't. Until Mom and Dad get here, I have to stay with the kids at night. Well, thanks for telling me. I'm sorry. I'm up to my neck in the real world. Oh, and what am I, fantasy land? Oh, baby, you have no idea. No, not cool, Jennifer. OK, we have plans, and you're breaking them. What? I'm sorry. You should have called. So, let's talk about boys. I'm gonna need some pointers. You and me both. Very good. Sean's here. Is your homework done? It's Friday. All right. Well, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Do mothers say that? You're not a mother. Uh, apparently not. And Jenny, help! I need you help! What is it? going to wear tomorrow? Finally, something in my skill set. Hey. Guidebook says that the Eiffel Tower is only two metro stops away. Isn't that great? What? I, uh, M Mom and Dad aren't coming at all. Dad can't travel? Oh, no. Poor guy. Well, we're going home. What? <laughs> well, we can't leave the kids with Jennifer for another two weeks. Sweetheart, they'll be fine. They are fine. Yeah, we're going home, Brian. Well, you can go home if you need to. I'm staying. You can't be serious. Uh, I'm on vacation. And I'd like to be on vacation with you. But if I can't, so be it. Fine. I'll go and talk to the concierge about flights then. Mandy. No. Don't. Meet your new best friend. This is going to go a lot easier if you put that down. OK, but I still have to shoot this. It's a flow first, like totally historic.
Punisher. Ting me. Don't rub it in. Sarah. Yeah, two more weeks. Oh, could you just for like a night? I'm gonna need a mental health break. Thanks, you're the best friend ever. Okay, let me know what night works for you. Okay, bye. And Jenny, what's a mental health break? Recess for grown-ups. So I couldn't get a flight out tonight, but I, I booked one for tomorrow morning. Brian? Brian, come on, we have to talk. Well, what's there to talk about, Mandy? You want to go home? I don't want to go. I have to go. No, you don't. You might not care about our kids. Our kids are fine. It's us you should be worried about. What's wrong with us? Well, I don't know. I mean, you tell me. Here we are on our honeymoon and- Well, we're and, not on a honeymoon. And all you can pretty much think about is the kids. I am not some blushing bride. You are to me. Look, I know that you and, well, my sister, for crying out loud, think this is supposed to be some great romantic getaway, but it- But what? I don't know how to be romantic. Sweetheart, we're, we're in Paris, the epicenter of romance. Well, I just, I don't, not anymore. Well, then we're in big trouble, aren't we? You know, for 15 years, it's been all about the kids. Which is great, because I'm crazy about them, but Mandy, I'm crazy about you, too. And we have to remember how to be together, just the two of us. Because if you're worried about the kids now, when they're safe at home with their aunt... Who is not capable of taking care of them? She is taking care of them. Ugh. But that, that's what this is about? You hate the fact that your kid's sister can do it. That's ridiculous. Look, look, Mandy, I... I know the kids are what you do, and I honor you for that because it's the most... It's the most beautiful thing to me. But the kids are gonna grow up faster than we can possibly imagine. And they're gonna need you less and less. And if we've done our job right, they're gonna leave. But I'm not going anywhere. Well, neither am I. Then don't go now. We have a dinner reservation. You go. I'm not hungry.
I canceled the morning flight. And I am hungry. <laughs> Uh, monsieur, un um, menu pour uh, madame, s'il vous plaît. And a bottle of champagne, please. <laughs> you sure I look okay in this? Oh, yeah. Oh. Let me remedy that. What? What? <laughs> really? Look at you. <laughs> Don Juan. <laughs> Have a great day. You know what I want, Miles. You should give it up. Hey, you know what I want. What's going on here? Let go of me. No way, you're a thief. You're crazy. What are you doing here, Jenny? Taking him to the principal's office. Don't, please. He's stealing your lunch. Just let him go. Everybody already thinks I'm a wimp. You're just making it worse. Crazy idea. Hmm. What if we stayed in tonight? But we have tickets to the ballet. Oh well, we could order up a little room service, see what's on the tele, and whatever. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> hey, you still here? Uh, yeah. Two more weeks. Well, I found this in the thousands of boxes of books in the garage. Thought you could use it. Oh. Oh, cookbook. <laughs> <laughs> Think it'll help? Can't hurt. Yeah. On the subject of cooking, I don't want to give you the wrong idea. I still have a boyfriend. But if you would like to cook dinner for the kids, that would be awesome. You have a boyfriend. All right, so I gotta ask myself, what exactly is in this for me? Well, I'm... <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I I'd love to cook the kids dinner. Uh, what are they like? At this point, something edible. Oh, well, lucky for you, I'm famous for the edibility of my food. I'll, uh, I'll check with John and Bunny and see what's a good night to slip away. Great. Good. You okay there? Yeah, take it off. All right.
Hey, Jennifer, how are you? Hi, Charlie. How's it going? It's going good. Hired attempt to fill in for you. Oh. Is it good? Yeah. Well, it's not as good as you. Am I really that good? <laughs> yes, you are. And it'll be amazing when you finally believe that. So when are you coming back? Uh, actually, it's going to be another two weeks. My dad still can't travel. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. So, how's it going with the kids? Well, the kids are OK. But it's a lot harder than I thought it would be. Yeah, I remember those years. Yeah, my wife and I used to go to bed some nights thinking, can we really do this again tomorrow morning? I can relate. Yeah, well, we did. And that is the remarkable thing about people. We're capable of so much more than what we think we are. Anyway, um, good luck with everything. And uh, don't worry about us. Kid does good work. OK. Thanks, Charlie. What's that on your head, Daddy? Ignore him. He's been practicing that since we got here. I didn't know you guys had leather jackets. Oh, yeah, we just bought them today. I, I had a, an amazing store in Montmartre. 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 Are you guys out? It's almost midnight there. Well, we're uh, going out, yes. Word on La Rue is uh, Phoenix might play. Mm -hmm. Jealous! Mm -hmm. how, how are things back there? Everything's great. I was a little surprised that you didn't jump on a plane and fly home, Andy, when you heard I'd be here another two weeks. No, I, I wouldn't do that. No. I'm on my honeymoon. Mm. Mom? Are you wearing black nail polish? Oh, yeah. I thought I'd give it a try. What do you think? Um... Well, listen, uh, we have to go now. We have a uh, metro to catch. Yeah, we'll talk to you guys in a few days. Bye. 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 Love you. Okay. That was creepy. Totally creepy. I guess they're having a good time. Without us? Hey, Erica, is your phone like broken? No. Because I've been texting you. I know. So why haven't you texted me back? I don't know, Flossie. Why such an enormous pain in the butt? Dork. I don't want it anymore. I am, and her friends. Well, what do they know? Everything. They're the coolest girls in school, and they hate me. Well, baby. Just baby. Go away. Well, I'll have my cell on me if you want to talk. It's a rotating system with the DVR. This is Miles' night, so he gets to watch his shows. Oh, and Flo might not come down for dinner. She's upset about something happening at school. It's OK if she doesn't, but try to get her to eat if you can. Got it? Alice is allowed to go out with her boyfriend tonight. His name is Sean. It's a Friday, so she can stay out until 11. 11. Got it. They have after dinner chores. Those change from night to night. So this is the schedule. Get out of here, and Jennifer. No, I just want you to make sure because she did a lot of work on this. And yeah. I, We're good. Uh, I, okay, I have my cell phone. We'll call you if we need to. Goodbye, okay. Jennifer. Goodbye.
We got it. Thank you. No problem. Not bad. Not bad? All right, come on. Let's see what you got. Impressive. All city in high school. Want to play some one-on-one? -on -one? Can't. Mm. Rain check? Be prepared to lose. Ooh, famous last words. Oh. I thought I had his back, but he didn't see it that way. I crossed some invisible line. Uh, broke the kid's code. But, come on, the jerk was stealing his lunch. Poor Flo, she's sucked into this mean girl vill. It's so painful to watch because it... What? Am I supposed to be interested in this? I don't know, are you? You've changed. This whole temporary mom thing, you changed. It's just been for two weeks, Quinn. The person doesn't change in two weeks. You have. And I don't like it. I'm sorry. I sound like my sister. You hate your sister. Which is why this is not interesting. You're right. It's not. Throw a hissy fit. <laughs> How about that? Is that interesting? your night. Mm. Illuminating. How are the kids? Uh, Miles and Flo are out for the count, and Alice rode into the sunset with James Dean. <laughs> By the way, that guy is crazy hot. I know. This is your fiance, even when he's snoring. Yeah. He'll be the father of my children with benefits. <laughs> so you guys plan on having kids? Absolutely. That's such a huge responsibility. Yeah, one a billion people can't wait to take on. When they want to stop having fun. Taking on responsibility doesn't mean giving up joy, Jen. Sometimes it's a great way to find it. Deal, Alice. I know. I'm so sorry. One thing's for sure, no more Sean. It wasn't his fault. Did the cops grab him too? 
I don't think so. I think he got away. He abandoned you? It wasn't like that. Stand up, guys. We sure know how to pick them. <sighs> Are you gonna tell Mom and Dad? You really disappointed me, Alice. Big time. You sound like Mom. Obviously, I'm not Mandy because you never would have pulled a stunt like this with her. Prodigal niece home safe and sound? Yeah. I can't thank you enough for staying with Flo and Miles. I didn't know who else to call. Oh, it's fine. They slept right through. Good. It's... Excuse me. isn't speaking to me. Flo's an emotional free fall. And it always ends up in the police station. You know, growing up, that was a typical day in my house. Oh, what was I thinking with that girl? An older boy, a motorcycle? Of course she was gonna get herself into trouble. I was acting like her BFF and I should have been her aunt. But I can't do this anymore. I'm gonna call Mandy. She needs to come home. So what, you're just, you're just gonna quit? I'm not quitting. I'm being realistic. I've been way over my head. Yes. You are on the upward arc of your learning curve. And I wouldn't get my hopes up for winning any temporary Mother of the Year awards. <sighs> but I wasn't kidding. You know, me and my brother and my sister, when we were kids, we were always melting down and messing up. It is what kids do. Well, I bet you had a mom who knew how to deal. Yeah, but I think that's the operative word, deal. I really think that she just made it up as she went along. You know, relying on common sense and a good heart. That's what parents do. And maybe I am wrong. But I think you can do it, too. <laughs> Come on, you got chops, girl. Oh. You were all city. Let <laughs> me <laughs> <laughs> give you a minute, okay? Mm -hmm. Smells good. Ah, oh, I figured you'd be too tired to make breakfast for the kids, so. Quiche? Kids? I don't know about that. Uh, just tell them it's a ham and cheese pie. They'll love it. I should go. Probably shouldn't be here when they wake up. Too much to explain. You should get some sleep. I'm not a quitter, Will. I hope not. It'd be a real bummer to interrupt Brian and Manny's trip. I tell you what, though, if you do stick around, I can make dinner for you guys on Thursday. Okay. All right. Thank you. For tonight. Yeah, anytime.
not a quitter. You think you're ugly and stupid? Does that girl look ugly and stupid? Kinda. Kinda? Okay, you don't want. Well, she wasn't. She was just growing up, trying to figure out who she was and how she fit in. Eventually, she found out. Was she a friend of yours? That's me. But you're like the coolest person I know. I thought Erica was. The coolest old person. Wow. I don't know about that. But I'm me. And once I figured out who me was, then I figured out how I wanted to dress and talk and act. We're always growing into who we really are. So. And I'm telling you, as a very objective aunt, you are amazing. If we're always growing, then how come you'll never grow up? Actually, I think I am. <laughs> Can I have that cell phone back now? <laughs> I could never ask. Wow. <laughs> awesome ham cheese pie at Jay. Okay. I shouldn't have grabbed... What's his name? Toby. I shouldn't have grabbed Toby and tried to take him to the principal. I'm sorry. But you're only a wimp if you let yourself be. Toby's a bully, and bullies seem tough, but they're not. And, and I have a pretty solid idea of how to deal with Toby. If you're interested, let me know. I'm interested. Here's my lunch, Toby. I made it special for you. day ever. Yeah, just about. Just about? I miss the kids. I'm not going to tell your mom and dad about the other night. Thank you. You are. They need to know, especially your mom, that she was right. Sean is too old for you, and you got into trouble because you were asking for it. You should have listened to her. She deserves to hear that from you. Hi, hey, sweetheart. Just checking in. Hi, Mom. How's Dad doing? Oh, he's a little better. And how about you? Hmm? You managing okay still? Oh, a few broken hearts and rules here and there, but no broken bones. We're muddling through. Well, of course you are. 
After all, it's not astrophysics, is it? You're right. It's a million times harder. I don't know how you've done it for so long. And Mandy. Well, a lot of women do. And such grace and humor. You're really a great mom, you know that? Well, I love being a mom. It's, it's brought me a lot of joy. Well, I gotta get Flo to soccer. Oh. But thanks for calling, Mom. Thanks for everything. <gasps> You're welcome, sweetheart. I'll talk to you soon, Mom. Okay. You okay? Push your hip. My hip's great. Great enough to fly. I'm on it. so many groceries. Um, you know, why don't I, I'll take this stuff in the kitchen. Oh, and, thank you. Yeah, no problem. And you guys can uh, catch up. I'd love to try that. Now look, you can read those, but if you commit them to memory, I will have to kill you. Shesko. <laughs> It's like romance is in its DNA. <laughs> I felt exactly the same way when I was there. Oh, Jennifer, your shoes. You have to tell me where you got them. A few days ago, Dad was bedridden and in too much pain to travel. Now he's playing football? How is that possible? Okay, Mom. Let's hear it. Seriously, what did you do? Okay. There wasn't a fall in the bathroom. His hip is fine. Just a little social engineering mom style. Mm. Okay, sit down. Sit, both of you. <sighs> Jennifer, you're my baby. And probably because I've always treated you as such, you've been a little slow in the growing up department. Oh, come well, on. Well, you have. And nothing grows you up quicker than taking care of kids. <laughs> and you, my dear, you grew up too fast. You needed a little time to, just to be a young woman in love again. What, well, you didn't have to socially engineer that. No. I mean, it would have happened on its own. I still have some hormones left. Would it? I don't know. You see, you're lucky, like me. You married a terrific guy. Someone who'll do almost anything you ask. But I knew that Brian wouldn't get the kind of honeymoon that he dreamed about. The kind that you both needed. Unless I forced the issue. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay. When you thought that Jennifer was going to have to look after the kids for another two weeks, you wanted to hop on a plane and fly right home, didn't you? Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then Brian, for one of the few times in his life, put his foot down, didn't he? What are you, clairvoyant? <laughs> when it comes to you two, yes. 
Oh, come on, gals. It was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Are you going to begrudge your gray-haired mom a little fun? Your hair is not that gray. Oh, if only you knew. You know, life is not a practical joke, Mom. Did you have that honeymoon? Yes. Yes, and did you like taking care of those kids? Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. You were gonna jump on a plane. Yeah. Oh wait, <laughs> j just a sec, there was a third reason. Just like she'll always be my baby, she'll always be your little sister, but, but she's, she's all grown up now. And you need to see that. Oh, oh. <laughs> You know, Mom, there is such a thing as being too wise. <laughs> Dinner was unbelievable. I think Mom would kill to get those recipes. <laughs> Thanks. It's uh, years of practice. So now that Brian and Mandy are back, I uh, guess you'll be heading home? If I want to sleep in a bed. Oh, it's been great having you as a neighbor. Me too. Take care of yourself. Tomorrow's a pretty typical Friday. Flo has the ortho appointment, so it's a half practice. Miles is in that concert next week, and so be sure that he brings the right music to his lesson. Yeah, okay. I haven't been gone that long. I do know how to do this. <laughs> right. Sorry. <laughs> and obviously, so do you. You know, Mom's right. I, I do think of you as a kid. No, I did. I totally underestimated you. And I apologize. You didn't underestimate me at all. And. If I'm even a tenth as good a mom as you are, I got there kicking and screaming. <laughs> well, whatever the process, you really stepped up to the plate, so. Likewise. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I talk to you? Yeah. What's up, baby? Knock, knock. Hey, Jennifer. How are you? I'm good. Actually, no, I'm not good. Well, sit down. Have a seat. You offered me something fantastic, and I was afraid to take it. So I don't blame you for replacing me with the temp, but I just want you to know that I am not afraid anymore. I am ready to take on that responsibility. I took care of three kids for three weeks and no one thought I could do it. Not even I thought I could do it. But I did it. And it taught me that I can do anything. 
especially when it's important to me. And this job is important to me. It fills me with so much joy. So if things don't work out with the other guy, I Jennifer. really hope that you'll reconsider and- Jennifer, I didn't hire the temp. He's still just a temp. Oh. <laughs> of course I want to have you as my partner. I couldn't think of anything I'd like better. Wow. Yeah. That's, wow. <sighs> Welcome back. Mm -hmm. You know how when someone's humming a song and they stop before the last note and it drives you crazy all night because it's like unfinished business? I hate when that happens. I couldn't sleep at all last night. There. So, maybe we could grab some dinner. A movie. I thought you had a boyfriend. I did have a boyfriend. I'm a quitter, remember? Well, I say yes. But only after you humiliated me on the boards. You are on. Before we start this, uh -huh. I have a proposal. Date night. Just the two of you once a week, and I can hang with the kids. Oh. Awesome! Is there anything about that proposal you don't like? Not a thing. Mm -mm. Mm. Ew! <laughs> uh, are we gonna do this? Yeah, totally. Okay, let's see some travel pics. Oh no, we got something better than that. Courtesy of Flo. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here we go.